Hey everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited because we're doing the next recipe in Eat Like a Gilmore Cookbook, which is chilaquiles. And I am so excited about this. This is the first recipe that seems to be way off anything that I've made before. And also, I'm really excited to try some crunchy goodness. If you don't know the relationship between these and the Gilmore Girls, this is the meal that Caesar made when Luke went away from his diner and left Caesar in charge. He served chilaquiles and everybody was really excited and they were a big hit. So I have already got the oil cooking and I've already cut my corn tortillas for this, which actually was quite satisfying to stack up 20 tortillas and slice a knife through them. I kind of wish I had filmed that for you guys for you to see how cool that was. But I already did it and I've already got, like I said, the oil heating in my Dutch oven. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so the oil's heating in here. And I have both a slotted spoon and a spatula because remember, I am trying this recipe for the first time along with this video. So I have to figure out which one will work better. So I have a cup and a half of vegetable oil in this Dutch oven and I'm about to put some onion. It's a medium onion chopped. I use one of those little chopper things to do that. And it goes in here. And it does seem like the oil's hot. I'm pretty sure the oil, the I'm pretty sure the onions there to give the oil good flavor for the tortillas. And we're supposed to be cook, cooking the tortillas in here for about two minutes. So it's a carefully add in the tortilla pieces. So once I get them in, I will I will coat them with the oil, with the onion. These are supposed to be able to cook well for two minutes. I'm cutting them, I'm cooking them. All right, when they're ready to come out, I will show you what they look like. Oh, it says to turn them every two minutes until they're crispy. So they're not gonna take two minutes. They're gonna take longer than that. I used white corn tortillas. I don't know if that makes a difference between the yellow corn tortillas. And if you are a chilaquiles expert, you please feel free to weigh in and let me know if the yellow will be better. Okay, about seven minutes in. The chips seem more soggy than crisp. Some of them are crisping up. We'll see how this progresses. The chips are falling apart. I guess they're getting cooked. I'm still trying to stir them up every so often. Okay, so now I need to take these out of the pan and put it on here. Put it on this rack to kind of drain a little bit. I'm trying to be careful. I'm trying to get some of the crispy pieces first. Hopefully that leaves room for some other pieces to get in there. Okay, so here's my um, tortilla chips all fried up with the onions. The recipe is telling me to toss out the oil, but save the pan because we're going to use the same pan for cooking the rest of the things. So I'm going to set that up and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm adding a can of enchilada sauce to the bottom of this pan that was deglazed with some water. And we're supposed to cook that and bring it to a boil. Let's try it together a little bit. There is some oil left over from here and some um, onion and chip residue. I think all of that is supposed to be okay. Bring it to a boil. Okay, we got a nice boil going. Now we're actually putting in the chips. Tortilla chips in. And the onions. After they've cooled, they are crispy. Wasn't sure if that was gonna happen. I'm making a huge mess trying to get them in the pot. Oh, 
this wire rack. So that was a really big mess. Stir it, coat it. All right, now they're all coated. A half a cup of cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, don't put in cilantro. And of course, I did not get fresh queso. It was recommended for this recipe, but it also said you could get Colby Jack, and I already had some Colby Jack. So that's what I'm using, and I'm eyeballing about half a cup. It's probably more than half a cup, because I like cheese. We're gonna stir that all together. Oh, I don't know about you, but it looks really good. That steam is there. I'm sorry about the steam. I'm trying not to get my arm in the way either. Okay, I turned the heat off, and I'm going to plate some of that. All right. I'm going to put some on a plate. That'll be good enough for me. I'm going to put it to the side and start my egg. I have this pan coated in oil. Please excuse the mess on the stove. As you saw before, I was not graceful in trying to get those tortilla chips into the Dutch oven. And I'm heating up this oil and I'm going to cook this egg. And the recipe pretty much wants me to do it over easy. And so that's what I'm going to do. The recipe actually says to go ahead and cook four and then cut them and serve them individually on four plates of the tortilla chips. But it's only me right now and I will do that later for my family because I'm going to serve this for dinner because that's what I do with my recipes. So I'm just making one for now for my little taste test. I pretty much have to wait for these whites to be solid. Flip it, cook for about a minute, and then put on the chalakis. So that looks good. Let's go ahead. This is always a hard part, so this is where you can all critique me and see my actual skill. Oh, I cut it. I broke the yolk. That's okay. It's all going to be over this. <laughs> anyway, if it wasn't on video, I probably would have done that fine. But this is real life, people. I am not going to try and cook and flip eggs just to get the perfect one. I'm just going to go with how it is. Because that's what we would do in normal life anyways, isn't it? Okay, I have my plate here. I have my plate. Of course, it's sitting on my cookbook. I might eat like a Gilmore cookbook. I'm just going to go ahead and put the egg on it because the yolk is getting too hard. And I want it running still. Oh, wow. Alright, here is my chilaquiles. I really wish I had gotten the yolks runnier on it because I really do like runny yolks. But that's fine. It does say to salt and pepper to taste. I don't usually add salt to recipes like this because it already has the enchilada sauce, which is really salty. So I think it probably be okay. I'll let you know if I feel like it needs salt. And I don't usually pepper things, especially with enchilada sauce. I am ready to taste this. It looks delicious. Okay, here's my chilaquiles. I know I probably say that wrong and different every time I say that. Please correct me if you can. I am about to taste for the first time with my overcooked eggs and my soggy tortilla chips. Mmm! 
This is really good. Oh, it really is crunchy goodness. Oh my goodness, this is good. This is like Mexican comfort food. Oh yeah, my family's gonna like this for dinner. It's not too spicy. Actually, it's not spicy at all. So if you want some spice, I would maybe do the pepper. But it seems if you put some chili pepper in here, it probably would turn up the heat a lot. Or so maybe some hot sauce, pepper sauce. Okay, so my camera died at the last of that video. And I hadn't had a chance to really record another ending. But the chili killies were really good. Um, they weren't very good left over. Um, but they got a little soggy. I fried up some more for my family for dinner. And they liked it. Um, it needed more salt at that point and it wasn't very spicy so my husband did add some hot sauce and made it a little bit better for him. But all in all it was really good. When I made it for dinner I did get the eggs nice and runny and it was so good that way. I definitely recommend making sure your egg is nice and runny. I hope you all have a great day. Come back for more recipes because I have a lot more for you. Have a great day. Bye!